What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be reviewing the Razer Ifrit, or Razer Ifrit, however you want to say it. And this is a broadcaster and streaming kind of headset alternative aimed to be much more discreet. And as they have been marketing, it's not going to give you headset hair. So we're going to find out, talk about it, go over the pros and cons, do a mic test of the Ifrit, and see you know what it's about and if it's worth it. So first off, taking a look at it, yes, it's going to resemble like one of those telemarketing headsets. I told you to take me off this list! However, in the attempt to be more discreet, I think this gets the job done. As for the construction, it is rigged and rubberized, meant to fit around the back side of your head, sit on your ears, and then from there you would put in the earbuds and adjust the mic. And bam, just like that, you have your setup ready to stream, you don't need a desktop mic and a headset, and your hair's not going to have any dents. So taking a closer look at the earbuds, they do resemble the look of the Razer Hammerhead. I'm not 100% sure if it's the same exact drivers, I'm going to lean towards no, but it has this nice neural texture around the ring, and they actually fit in my ears very well, like probably some of the best fitting earbuds I've tried. The sound quality, however, leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, if you're engaging with your audience and stuff, you're not really paying attention to the audio of your game, and it shouldn't be a big deal, but these are just lacking. The trebles are muddy, there is no bass, it's just very flat overall, I think. But I mean, if you are a casual gamer, again, not too invested in the quality of the audio while you're streaming and engaging with your audience, won't be a big deal. But for someone like me, um, I noticed it right away. Just not the best quality here. As for the microphone, it is a nice and flexible cardioid gooseneck design. So you can adjust it and move it around. And while it is a cardioid mic, it is designed so it picks up what's in front of the mic, so like your voice, and it's going to eliminate a lot of the background noise behind it. And inside the box, the Efret also comes with this brand new Razer Audio Enhancer, it's called. It's essentially a DAC. You can also buy this separately, but it is included with the Efret. And this is pretty interesting. So the design is pretty simple. You have a mute mic button there, so you can just quickly kill your mic. There's a little volume dial on the side of it, so you can quickly adjust your audio levels. Then on the bottom, you'll see this has two audio ports. This is so two people can be streaming at the same time, meaning if you have a friend over, they can plug in their headset to this, so you can both be, you know, talking and listening to the game at the same time. On the back of the DAC, there is sticky tape if you want to stick this to your desk, which I think is kind of odd. And the USB cable is five feet long. So once you plug in your Efrit to the audio enhancer, with the Efrit's cable being a little over six and a half feet, you're gonna have close to uh, 12 feet of cable here. So regardless of where you are sitting, it should be long enough to fit to your PC without there being any problems. And also with this audio enhancer, you can also use this for plugging into something like your PS4 if you wanna stream and record uh, with this. Now let's talk about the comfort. And again, their big marketing point with this is avoiding headset hair. And obviously with it fitting around your head, it's gonna do that. But for me, it's just kind of clunky. It is kind of on the larger side, so it does tend to shift like up and down while I'm sitting. And the one big takeaway is this is not glasses friendly. So I have absolutely terrible vision. And while I do wear contacts, a lot of times at nighttime when I'm sitting down to game, um, I will just put on glasses because it's a lot easier. And you can just tell these were not meant uh, to be worn with glasses in mind because they sit on top of each other. It just makes for a really awkward feel when you have these two things just sitting on the top of your ears. So, I mean, it does work, but it is not comfortable with glasses. So with all that out of the way, now we can talk about the actual microphone. Obviously, for a broadcaster streaming product, the microphone here is going to be probably the most important part about this. So listen closely. We'll do a mic test right now. All right, so this is going to be the mic test for the Razer Efrit, and uh, this is also plugged into my computer via the sound enhancer from Razer, their little USB DAC here, uh, which again comes included with this bundle. And just give you guys a general mic test of how it sounds, completely raw, unedited audio. And now what I'm going to do is type in the background here, so you can kind of see how it eliminates the background noise of this uh, condenser mic. And I'm typing on Razer green switches, which are very similar to Cherry Blues, so very loud and clicky if you have those. Again, just, just so you can kind of gauge how it does at, at eliminating any background sound while you're streaming uh, and gaming and stuff like that at the same time. Time. So, altogether, I heard it. think it sounds very, very good for a microphone. Uh, definitely on par, I'd say, with something like the Mass Drop Mini Mic or something like, you know, the Antlion Mod Mic 4.0 or 5.0. A little bit more expensive, but again, you're also getting the, uh, the earbuds and stuff. So, yeah, this is a mic test for you guys. All right, so as you heard, I think overall the mic quality is very, very good on this. But for a dedicated broadcaster streaming product... That's what you're going to, you know, expect from a product like this. So, great mic. And to kind of wrap this up with, you know, a summary and points that I've alluded to throughout this review, I think the mic quality is the only real pro 
There's a lot of cons about this, and it's just kind of an awkward product altogether once you take a look at it, because $400, you can just get a dedicated gaming headset, even though this is, you know, more directed towards being a broadcaster style where you're avoiding headset hair, as they've been marketing, so it's kind of strange. So, to wrap this up with my cons that I'll point out, because I think the only pro, like I said, is the mic quality, um, the sound quality from the earbuds is just not good. There is absolutely zero bass. Everything sounds just dull. It, it's not alive. That's the best way I can put it. It's just a very dull sounding quality from the, from the earbuds, which is kind of a bummer. And kind of going along with that, I wish the earbuds were detachable from this. So you could just, you know, take them out and go with you. Um, even if they're not, you know, the best sounding in the end, it would be cool if they were kind of detachable from here. I also think that the, the size of this is kind of too big for me because it was just kind of like draping down on the back of my head while the front uh, sort of like clasp thing was just hanging awkwardly over my ears. And I also mentioned that it is just not compatible if you wear glasses. So it was a real awkward fit for me and it's not gonna work if you wear glasses and stuff like that. And the last con I'll bring up, which I think is just more of a general suggestion for this, um, instead of having that sticky tape on the back of the audio enhancer, there should have been a clip. So I can just clip it on my shirt or on my pants or whatever, instead of having it stuck to my desk. I just I think it was an odd choice to go with the tape over you know, a clip. That, that would just make more sense, I think. So altogether, awkward product. Awkward execution, but as a mic, it is very good. It's a good sounding mic. And for, you know, a casual streamer who doesn't really care too much about the sound quality of the game, if you're just engaging with your audience and stuff, you need something small and discreet while streaming, then sure, it's it's a one-of-a-kind kind of product like this that's gonna work for you. Just not my cup of tea. Let's, let's put it that way. Uh, it's, it's an awkward product. That's the best way I could sum this up. An awkward product with a good mic. So that'll wrap it up for my review of the Razer Efrit. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.